I'm going to, I'm going to show you why this is an amazing clock. It's an amazing clock because it's built in Meteor, and it's a static file. So, uh, so I found this like um, in a blog post. Somebody mentioned this really nice package uh, called Meteor Build Client, and you, it's an M. Uh, NPM uh, package that you can just install. So I'm doing it now, I'm just installing it globally, and it, it gives me like Meteor build client uh, tool on the command line. So now you can get back, and uh, I'm just going to make like a, an ordinary Meteor project uh, called Clock. Uh, and I've chosen that name because, because the feature, the main feature is a clock. <laughs> uh, so, so what I'm doing here is pretty radical, actually. I just deleted the if Meteor is server, and I'm writing in meteor.disconnect, which is this kind of fantastic, anarchic moment uh, that you can have in your, uh, in your um, text editor. Uh, okay, so the idea of this is that you, you're, we're basically going to pull away the front end of Meteor uh, and just think about the front end uh, of Meteor. So I'm writing like a, a kind of daft little bit of... JavaScript that basically makes the time, puts the time in the session. So every second it just kind of puts the time in the session. So what's interesting was to make my time, I'm using moment. So because it's Meteor, I can just go like Meteor, add moment and add less and add bootstrap. And my goodness, you, there's all kinds of packages that you can add into uh, your project right at this point. It's like really easy, nice. So now I'm in a situation where I can kind of like start building out uh, like a little site. So the first thing would be like to put some, yeah, do some templating. Um, so what's kind of, uh, this is kind of like doesn't look very impressive because it's just meter and it's like, oh yeah, it's just like templating. But what's interesting is it's been detached. We're not making a Meteor app. We're going to make <laughs> some static files. So here, like having, it was probably a bit overkill to import the entire Bootstrap library for a panel. Uh, <laughs> but um, hell, why not? I'm just going to do that. Uh, OK, so then, of course, Meteor. So this is how we wire in some JavaScript uh, and it's a helper. So this is going to use the reactive quality of Meteor in my static page. And it's just going to, every time the session value changes, it's going to update on my page, kind of like that's it. Uh, and then this is just some styling, uh, but the nice thing is I can nest it because I'm using less. Uh, you know, other kind of pre-CSS compilers are available, um, uh, and that's it. So, like, you, not, you can kind of run and check your thing on localhost. So I've just got like Meteor running, and of course, like I've left something out, so I want to make some changes. So I just make some changes. Uh, reload, maybe once again, reload. Um, ta da, I can see my changes. OK, and then um, that's kind of obs Oh, yeah, that's better. Uh, and, then, and then I'm ready for the build step. So I'm like, yeah, happy with my project. Uh, I'm going to do like Meteor, build client. Uh, this is the directory where I'm going to put it. Make sure it's outside of your project. This is like the path, and it's making all of the paths uh, like absolute. So it'll work with a static file. Uh, and then Meteor does its thing. It bundles the Meteor app. So this is actually part of your, your build step when you use Meteor anyway. Uh, it's just like just separated it out so you can use it on its own. If I go into, I'm going to open the result. So this is what I get from my build step. Uh, and I get like, um, my, you know, the HTML static page. And then these two, which is all uh, minified for me, kind of like the CSS is all minified. It's like, yeah, man, cool. Just to check that it works. There it is. So it's a static file. So what, like, why is this interesting? Why would you want to do something like this? So I've managed to make, like, in minutes, uh, a static uh, website, single page app uh, that's minified, uh, like the, the simple build step. How would, how would you do this? If you weren't using Meteor like this, you might have to use a yeoman scaffolder, maybe. Or you might have to, you might have to like get a grunt file to do some of, some of this work for you. JavaScript. You just use JavaScript. Pure, pure JavaScript. Yeah, you could just write. You could just do write your own scripts, npm scripts. 
<laughs> so the nice thing about this, what, what I like about this is if, if you are interested in introducing Meteor to somebody, this is a really nice way of doing it. In work, for example, you might need to build out a front page. So you could do it like this and you could go, yes, build it in Meteor. The other cool thing is like, uh, you could build a single page app and share it with somebody who doesn't have Meteor on their computer. So in, in work, we had this situation where uh, we were building like a static website uh, and um, uh, we had different ways, thoughts about doing it and we kind of like decided like getting the client to install Meteor on their Windows machine so that they could run it was not going to work. Uh, but this would work. You could open this on a Windows machine and it would, it would work. Like it's uh, got that kind of backwards compatibility. <laughs> Uh, other kind of interesting ways is like educationally. So if you wanted to maybe do some pair programming with somebody like a junior or like somebody who's quite new to coding, uh, the Meteor environment's really friendly. It's a nice way to do it. Uh, this would be lovely because it's quite simple. Like the setup is minimized for you. Uh, and uh, and um, it's a, like a really useful way of um, building something to help you tell the time. You know, because often it's a little too small, the little thing at the top. Uh, so that's it. So this kind of like um, uh, one of the things when we uh, like uh, I'm uh, quite think is really w amazing about Meteor is like often people say the Meteor magic, uh, but it isn't magic. It isn't magic. It's just JavaScript, uh, and it's built with lots of really amazing little components. And the thing that really appeals to me about um, Meteor Build Client is that it pulls away a really wonderful little bit of programming, like a really nice package, the front end package of of Meteor. Um, so what, what would be quite interesting maybe is getting this, it might be an interesting way to start exploring React or uh, the other kind of like Blaze templating. If you're new to it, this is a really nice way to kind of like get a bit of experience with it. Okay. Meteor Build Client. <laughs> Woo! Yeah.